Hey there, Eric with Naughty Pleasures. Uh, it's been a little while since I posted here on YouTube, so, you know, let's go with a little something. Have some fun with it. So the other weekend, over Easter weekend, Grizzly on their site had a nice little sale uh, for under 10 bucks. Their half inch bowl gouge, and for a little bit more than that, got their half inch spindle gouge as well. So for giggles, I uh, thought I would do a little bit of a test and review on them. Uh, Grizzly certainly doesn't know I'm doing this and hasn't paid me for it. Um, won't argue if they ultimately would like to, but hey guys, you know, no worries. So both of them, very nice. Uh, hold them out here. You can see the spindle's a little shorter, but you know, doesn't need to be as long for the leverage. The bowl gouge here, don't know how well you can see that. Has a nice little fingernail style on it. Uh, generally, I prefer a little bit flatter, but uh, you know, that's okay. I might change the grind on it a little bit, but I thought I'd try these out of literally out of the box and see. They feel pretty nice and sharp to begin with. Nice and deep. The uh, spindle here, nice and shallow. Really good. Almost looks like about 30 degrees off but you know we'll see how they go the test that I'll be doing with them is one of my little random creations of doing some grapevine in resin so this will be kind of a, a combo to see how they both handle whacking between resin and and wood uh, as well as carving through a little bit of toilet paper tube as well which I use for my molds so that'll be fun coming up. So uh, get out in the sunlight and do a little over video passing over these guys just to see them in a little better than the, the light that I have here in the garage. Alrighty, so got the bulk out here. And very highly marked HSS, which we can expect high speed steel. Here's a little better view of the of the tip for comparison in size and shape these are the two uh, Robert Sormies that I have one a little bit more bowl one a little bit more fingernail um, you can see they that's good, so it doesn't roll off there we go. you can see they've all got similar nice long handles about the same length uh, really put some serious use onto those guys so Hopefully I can also change out some of the use and uh, bring this one into rotation. So there's that. Then I've got the spindle here, a little shorter. And uh, again, HHS, HSS. For comparison, I know you guys are gonna have a good chuckle on that. I'm gonna flip that over so it doesn't roll. Uh, the spindle gouge that I use, check out that nice vintage bad boy that I picked up off eBay when I started all of this. Uh, nice same handle length and very similar on here although <laughs> it was bent when I bought it so I figured I certainly can't break it any more than uh, it already is and this has served me well so uh, looking forward to upgrading to this one a little bit of a comparison yeah yeah it's hard to do so a little bit of a comparison here new one here we go nice angle and similar similar on the cut that's about what I got when I first got it and I've just kept the bevel this the bevel on that the same so there's all that uh, should be fun so let's get things mounted up and go so of course even though I've got several of these guys already drilled out that I did on the lathe over there uh, these were too big to fit into my chuck, so let's go ahead and have some giggles and drill that out. Let's go ahead and plug that in first. Gee whiz. Don't you love my... the way it's all set up? Hey, look, I got light. This is much better. Come on back around. That's about where I want it. Oh, 
one down. Yeah, one to go. That yeah, was nice and easy. Alrighty. I don't know. Which one? Let's go with this one for the testing because it's got a little bit more grip. So. I already got that mounted up. We're going to go ahead and start since it is kind of spindly. I'm going to use the new spindle gouge and let's get that whacking. of chatter just going straight in. That's okay. Let's see if we can smooth that out. Going proper and right in the bevel, I get a much smoother cut than when I was just going straight in, which would be to be expected. Uh, for fun, I'm going to go ahead and finish this out with the with the bulb gouge. Alrighty, off of the bulb gouge. See by all the shreds is coming out a lot nicer, but that's also I'm a lot more used to using a bowl gouge. So you get me straight out of the box cuts. That's pretty nice, especially over in here. So giving a little roughness here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the bowl and uh, go from there. Okay, did just discover one thing that I don't like, but that's just me and my techniques. Uh, I got a little bit of tear out here, and that is because coming through, I was coming across, coming across, trying to ride the bevel a little bit, and I got caught on that little corner. Not bad. And certainly enough that I can smooth that out as we go, but, you know, riding the bevel, and then I rotate a little bit so I can get a nice deep cut going across, and that pointy corner is killing me. That's okay. So, long time I might shave that off, but I'm going to finish it out the way it is because that's the way the tests go, right? Resin, I can tell it's dulling things, it's not cutting as well, which to be expected, but I uh, will definitely be sharpening this to continue. Uh, but before we sharpen things, let's have some fun. Let's go, now that I've got it round, let's go back to the spindle and cut across this and see how I do.
Nice. It's also feeding the uh, scraps out a lot better than the bulb one was. So perhaps I really, despite the fact I like using bulb gouges for everything, perhaps I really do need to switch to a spindle on some of this. So yeah, we'll just keep on going. I'll come back when I get a little closer to finishing. After a couple of rounds back and forth, and I'll admit I took the spindle gouge and sharpened it up, uh, it cut straight through, and that's a really nice, uh, pretty nice little finish on there. So now I guess I'll just be sanding this little bad boy up and moving on to the next piece. So all in all, I'd say that piece came out pretty nice. I'm pleased with it. Go ahead and let that finish dry and I'll come back a couple of days probably and uh, finish that up taking it up to 600 I want to take it up to at least 1200 maybe even higher just to kind of get some more of the uh, sanding marks out but that was nice and quick got some really good shavings out of it so in the end I will say for the price especially on sale not bad would I buy them again yeah I probably would may not buy them for a while why because well that's a that's a lot of gouge for me to file down and and work through and for a guy who really only does it on the weekends but hey all in all i'd say that was 20 bucks well spent so way to go grizzly